this is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, at a place called Papago Park. It's in the central Phoenix area, kind of dead center in between all the main mountain ranges that surround Phoenix here. And I just wanted to show you these bubbly looking mountains, or hills, whatever you want to call them. But if you go out this way, forgive me, I don't know, I don't know the name of the range right offhand, but there's a huge mountain range that way. We've got a, a little peak over there, mountains further back, and then we've got these little random peaks sticking out. It's like little fogomites. What this reminds me of is some of the experiments I've been doing lately, uh, specifically the one that I just did with mud, and uh, I zapped it with an electrode, and it created something very similar to this right out of the mud also taken dried clay and zapped it to where it put holes in it so this is uh, definitely something suspect so I'm going to inspect a little closer All right, I'm up on the small butte. We've got a small one and then a double butte. There's a cave. A bunch of these little pockets. Look like they bubbled out or could be erosion. That's what they think it is. But I don't. And here's what the uh, little cave looks like at the first butte. conglomerate of rocks kind of paste it together lots of different rocks I'll put together on my way up here there was a ton of broken little small rocks and some formations in the ground and uh, looked like granite Mica schist. All right, I was just actually right on the other side down by that tree, and I walked up here, and it's a lot more solid rocks. This whole section here is all full of cross hatching. And, uh, I have this nice little trail that goes down, and this kind of reminds me of what I saw at Enchanted Rock uh, down in Texas. See these little quartz lines, just real thin quartz lines going down these creases. So I'm gonna keep looking around and see what else I find here. All right, so I'm at the peak of the first butte. Well, not at the peak actually. I can't get up there, but I've got this big ugly rock here. And then look, there's Phoenix. And you can see the mountain ranges. They end over there. Actually, that keeps going farther. But it's like a it's like a trail of mountains that surround this place, and those mountains are quite a bit different than these over here, which seem to be melted or bubbly, created in a different fashion, which matches areas like that. But you know, you, you go over to mountains like that where you can see you can see the layering. Um, there's some cool stuff I saw flying over. But I'll have to check out on Google Maps and try to add that in here. So I'm inside one of these 
little cave entrances and looks like there's some drainage coming up out of this but there's there's nothing over here no hole I don't even know where the water's coming from, so I don't see anything, but probably just coming through a crack. Yeah. You know, look, there's definitely erosion happening on this on this place, but uh, if this was made millions, or as the park ranger said, billions of years ago, wouldn't we have a lot more erosion than this? So I started out over there, and now I'm over here in another one, and I walked up into this little cave and noticed something peculiar, how this almost straight line right here is separated by, so it sounds like, it looks like a little butthole to me, <laughs> uh, oh wait, maybe. We got this hole and another hole separated by separated by this little piece of rock. Look at that. And that line goes. Oh, sorry, it's blurry. That line goes all the way up in there. And then again, you see where these two things kind of grew together. There's another connection point up there. And then there's this weird. What that stuff is back there. I guess that could be an aftergrowth or it's just been here the whole time. I don't know what that is. Anyway. Oh, that split all the way up. So I don't know if this is a break. Or a separation, but I think it's a separation. This looks just like over at White Tank Mountains where it's got this big cutout. White Tank Mountains is that way about an hour. Alright, so I found some more interesting things. I've got these two little trails that look like they were liquid at one point that head up that direction. And then we've got a seam. I like that on the left. goes up and splits off of this here. I'm coming up on the main one now. There is where whatever this energy was that formed this stopped, pulled up, formed this piece, and then it started pulling it this way, just like a vortex or an electric discharge going this way. You can see there's all this bubbling on the inside. There's a seam right there. That part over here in the corner is the coolest. It, it, it's like a wave cave type thing. See how this stuff was melty, muddy, something. Definitely was muddy because it's a huge uh, a conglomerate of rocks up here. So, um, but I am seeing all kinds of granite, um, all kinds of things in between, which match White Tank, which match Camelback Mountain, which match all the way down in uh, Tucson, Mount Lemon. There's some similarities I'm seeing. And, uh, pointed out this this seam right here you can see these two mounds pinching in and going down and then it's, it wraps down this way so 
whatever energy form was over here was kind of wavering and it seemed like it pinched down in the middle and kept going that way. This little section, you can see where the where that material just was still wet as this thing was getting baked. And then there's another seam going down. So I imagine as these are building outwards, up and outwards, those little electrical fingers are, are digging in there, forming this wet material as it's going out this way. I'll get over here in a second. This is a, a weird S-shaped wraparound. Um, looks like it should be a cave, but I don't think it's made solely by water. I took a side shot because I wanted you to see this layering and this buildup. It's, it's going upwards like this, and you can see where the layers are going out. You can also see it on this portion here, where I showed you that pinch. All this, all this energy was being pushed in as this was being formed. You can see all the layers across it. And then this one layers up that way and it bubbles out. Got some granite. This is uh, pretty identical to what I was seeing over at White Tank, about a, well, one hour west of Phoenix. Got a little closer and you're starting to see it better. For scale, there's a guy standing over there. You can see it's a, like a cave system underneath there and you can see the lines wrapping up it. And you can see how it, how it was kind of swirling around as it bubbled up. Some intense winds. I would say some highly charged ionic winds. You know, discharging either pulling this out of floodwaters, muddy floodwaters, or whatever came through here just ripped up the land and whatever hot ionized dust and rock was in the sky all just connected in this giant vortice if you want to describe it as a, that i don't think you could imagine it as a tornado um, i think it's much more dynamic than a, a spiral uh, this is a lot of different converging winds i think Right, I am underneath the cave system. Well, it's not really a cave. It's more of just a, a cutout, but you see this little edge coming off here and then pretty smooth transition up there. Now, if you rub it, some granules will come off. So again, there is erosion, but that's a giant boulder I'm standing under and that's probably 20 times size of my head. Um, you know, again, has water played a part in eroding this? Yes. Did it play a part in forming it? That's what I am trying to find out. So you got these guys over here. Like, look at that. Look how melted that one is. And then over there. One back there. Got another one way over there. And there's more far north to us. Let's say another thing. Out of this wall, look, there is there is some rubble down here. So whatever rocks have been eroding off, you know, did fall down there. But underneath that, looks like it's kind of welded together. And uh, we've got this big separation here. And it goes all the way up. And it's at an angle. You can see, however this was built, look at that. It's just like 
separations in the stone. So all the material was fusing together or lifted up from odd places and still sorted somehow. And this part right here is what's striking. If you can see the, the angle of inclination up there, it's at the same angle as this line. So everything did get built up and out that way, starting from the front of this. And I think the winds came from the south, going north, kind of northwest. I think in a past video, I said it might have been going northeast, but to me, everything seems to be going northwest. If you go straight that way a few miles, there's Camelback Mountain. And on the northwest side is where it, it goes down at a slope, just like the other little area I just showed you. It goes down at a slope, but on that end is all bubbly, like it was melted, or it was the, the most hot point in that creation. So these are just observations I'm making. I want you guys to be the judge. Again, I'm, I'm no geologist, I'm no electrical engineer, I'm no superstar. I just have questions that nobody can answer without saying millions and billions of years. I'm sick of this millions of years crap when if you look at religion or you look at cultures or you look at you know, even hermeticism, things like that, there's a, alchemy. All of these things, they were all taught within the past few thousand years, and all these stories relate to something that our ancestors saw in the sky. So if the natives of this land say things happened a few thousand years, I'm going to take that over any bureaucrat, scientist, any day. Anyhow, there you go. So this is uh, Papago Park. Here, I couldn't help it. So we looked at the stratification line coming down here. Even in this so-called drainage area, that's all solid. So even when this was formed, whatever this was that came down still turned into something solid enough to fuse together. Again, look, it's, it can be broken apart, but it's rock. It's rock and mud all put together. Oh, perhaps maybe it did come up there and melt and get wet and come down here. I don't know. What do you think? Look at this though. Look at that. Got little bitty chunks of stuff with big chunks. And these are all different kinds of, all different types of rocks and materials. Ah, I think I'm getting somewhere because it pinches off up here and I see some lines that merge that's all the way up to the peak. So let me climb up to this peak. No. Look at this. I showed you those ridges earlier. Look, it forms all the way down. You can see the pinch right there. Looks like a quartz line right there. That same type of separation that I've been seeing. All right, let's try it out. Well, can't quite get up there, but again, we've got we've got this layer. Which if I step down here, you see these layers. Look at this big giant boulder fused into the side here. Look, all of those are all fused into this pathway. Just like the smaller butte I started out with is just a huge conglomerate of fused rock. But you can see, you can see how everything pinches up to a point right there. And there's a line that separates, separates these two, whoa, separates these two formations right here. And that goes all the way up, there's some rocks. Oh, wow, I'm not even near it. I don't know you can see up there. I still got a ways to get up to the peak, but there's, there's no way I can do it today. So I managed to get up a little higher but then it gets real tight, it has a tight squeeze in here. Here's the size of my hand. So that goes all the way up here. Let me get level. That way you can see the actual angle. And then it tightens up real tight. And that goes all the way back up in there. And that would be open if all those rocks didn't fall in there and cover it over. But these two, these two mounds are separated. 
can see the layering in this coming down. Even that inclination of this wall and that wall with this one. See that? All the way down. All right, it's time to catch a flight. To know if there's like a white slate, something right here. Kind of goes down on this ridge line here. Anyway, that was fun.